Okay, this is now the five-minute tarot for the 10th of March, 2017. And this is a, a, a reply to a comment. I think it was a comment or an email from somebody who said that, um, could it be said that this aspect of the Nine of Swords, this is referring back to the Nine of Swords video where I talked about a keyword for the card being renunciation. So could it be said that the renunciation idea connected with the Nine of Swords has similarities with the Hanged Man the, in the sense that they could both be about renunciation, about leaving a situation be as the better choice. Okay, I, I can see how or why the Hanged Man and the Nine of Swords might seem to be similar because you can say with probably with both of them that the person seems to be stuck or unable to move or trapped. Um, with the hangman, man, the person's hanging upside down. In the Nine of Swords, you're kind of stuck mentally and maybe fearful about what to do or not really know or not be sure about what what action to take. But it's, at the same time, I think that the starting point for the hanged man and the Nine of Swords, the starting point is very different because... The hanged man has been put there. Right, he's hanging upside down. His arms are tied behind his back, probably tied behind his back. So it may be that with the hanged man, we have to consider that other people are involved as well. That he didn't just hang himself there, but he was put there. So maybe with the hanged man, we have to consider that there are stronger people involved in the question or involved in the answer. So maybe with the hanged man, we have to ask ourselves or ask the question, who are these other people and what is their power or what is their control over you? Which is how you got put into that particular situation of being unable to act, really. Um, I can't think of a question at the moment, but it may be that when the hanged man comes up, the reader can be, can be wondering, OK, who are these other people? And what have they got or what are they doing that puts the person represented by the card into that tied situation? Whereas with the Nine of Swords, it seems to be that it's the person's thoughts that have trapped him or her. Because the person can move, they're sitting up in bed, but they can move. So it's as if they've imprisoned themselves. There's something different going on in the Nine of Swords um, than there is with the Hanged Man. And it can be that with the Nine of Swords, what you're supposed to do is um, come to see or come to understand your own thinking or your own ideas that got you into that awkward, difficult, um, uh, stuck situation. And maybe to look at your thinking and your ideas that you maybe never examined properly, but see how they're holding you back. Because it would seem that if you're being, if the hanged man and the nine of swords represent being held back in some way, with the hanged man, something else or somebody else is doing it to you. With the nine of swords, you're doing it to yourself. That was kind of it. But if, if we look at the numbers, with the hanged man is number 12. And this you can't help but think, okay, there are 12 months in a year. So the hangman being number 12, it represents or it points to a complete cycle through the seasons from spring through summer and then the harvest time in the autumn and then a, 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 a period of, of peace and darkness maybe in wintertime, but then back to a new beginning. Um, so when it comes to the, the seasons, and when it comes to the hangman, maybe what you do is, or the advice is, cooperate with the stronger, longer cycle. And if you cooperate with it, you're not going to be controlled by it. right? So you don't fight or try to overcome what really is much stronger than you and what really is much stronger. There's a When I was little, we in school heard about King Canute, I forget why or what class it was, but it was King Canute, who was this English king from, I don't know when, the fifth 
8th century, sometime back then. And he tried to prove his power by taking his throne to the, the seats of the shore. And he was or he ordered the tide to not come in. Right, and he, he obviously got wet, but because uh, you can't control the tide. And it can be with the hangman being 12 in the seasons and a year. Recognise what's stronger than you and what you can't control. And if you cooperate with it, you've, you've got some freedom of action. Whereas if you try to fight it, you're always going to lose. And that can be what you're meant to learn from the hanged man. So 12, and whereas with the nine of swords, um, the number nine is the end of a numerical cycle. Whereas 12 relates to time, or 12 relates to a fixed time, a year, or a certain amount of time passing. Whereas the number nine of the nine of swords, the nine of cups, whatever it happens to be, nine really is numerical and it, it's referring to stages that you go through. It doesn't, the, the time isn't that important or it doesn't have to be important because you can go through nine stages in a day, but it may take, may take nine years. So the difference between that, well, one of the differences between the hangman and the nine of swords, they can both show um, being stuck. But with the hangman, you're dealing with time. With the nine of swords, you're dealing with, I don't know, numbers and steps or stages. It's interesting as well. I can't help but think of nine as three times three. Whereas... I can't help but think of 12 of twelve as being 3 times 4. So that we've got 3 times 3 can be the empress times the empress, whereas 3 times 4 is the empress times the emperor. So with 12, you've got masculine and feminine, or male and female, or active and passive. Whereas with 9, you've got two of the same thing. Whatever you, you, you consider three to be, you've got it multiplying itself. So in some way, 12 seems like more complete. Whereas nine is just like the end of something before the beginning of a new thing. Okay, uh, I hope that made sense. It does to me. But anyway, so tomorrow will be something new, something else. Thank you very much. Uh, and we'll see you again. Bye-bye.